Alright, I am gonna ch cut right to the chase. Today is not gonna be a fun day. Today is gonna be a painful day. Just like yesterday. Because we still have one whole base defense to do. Yeah, I don't know. It always boils down to this, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to, uh, at least, I, I guess, Furycraft a bit and figure out what I could do better or could have done better to, uh, to ensure that most of these base defense we're doing is actually a lot easier. But that's not, uh, that's not the thing we're gonna be focusing on today. We still have one base defense, as I said. I'd like to get it done. Now, I do think we had a fight in progress. Um, I'm gonna take a step back. Oh yeah, that's right. Look at that. I've taken a step back. And we're gonna be doing this fight um, a fresh because, well, first of all, I did something incredibly dumb, which I really hate myself for. On the other hand, um, no, no, that's it. That's really it. Hey, so they actually arrived at the very last day? No, 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 these are them. Okay. Uh, so we actually have some people running around at the moment. Um, let's see, vessels. It's the quickest way of doing it, isn't it? We have some people running around, at least in a car. We shouldn't be using a car. I'm looking at you, uh... Ah, uh, Necro. And instead, we're gonna be focusing that car on somebody else. I'm quickly gonna sort by missions. This is gonna break the entire loadout. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Hey, Slavic, Chocolate, Gneffel, how are you guys doing? That's right, today is another day for suffering. I am I am not prepared for this mentally. But that's alright. Uh, Diodo is going to be driving around in the car. And I just realized we actually have a second car available. Uh, so the car uh, uses a 25mm cannon, which is half firing, half bravery. Uh, so the question is, who is the bravest of them all? Bravery of 160? Firing of 126? Consider it done. <laughs> How am I doing? Uh, I could be doing a lot better. I could be doing a lot better. I'm quickly gonna sort by bravery as well. As you can see, then we have Wicked Fate, Bloody Dwarf, and Derelict Nako. I think it's gonna be Derelict Nako who I'm gonna slap into a car. Um, unless I have a better option. Man, I've been so busy and stressed about work. While simultaneously being tired and just dreading tonight. I actually was planning to do this entire base defense stuff offline, just record it, upload it to YouTube. And not torture people with it, and we actually get to play, um, you know, the real game instead of playing Defense Simulator 2022. Or 1994, I guess you could call it. Just never got around to it. <laughs> so here we are. Um, fun, right? I'm th I think I might actually slap a Suka. Yeah, I think I might slap a Suka in uh, the car itself. They're usually more uh, fragile. Because guess what? We have two cars. By the way, I finally had a chance to shoot from the bow. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So now that we have the cars loaded up, um, I'm just gonna make yet another safety save. I call it a safety save, but in reality it's me just uh, not wanting to repeat the last seven steps. Also, it's fun, so I got two base assaults because I eliminated one of their outposts. These guys are very uh, angry. Hit. But we are angry as well. I'm very angry. I'm very mad. I'm gonna be taking it out on them. Um, yes. So, how am I planning to do this? I'll come back to that. <laughs> I have no idea yet. So, there is a lot of issues that I need to address. Um, ninjas, assassins, medics, people uh, who are irrespectably going to die. And that really makes me uh, very concerned. <sighs> very concerned. Let's not forget about the grenades. Um, explosives are, after all, king. Or queen. But some people can't uh, carry any of them, which is quite unfortunate. 
Okay, that... <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. That being said, I hope everything seems to sound okay, and uh, if you don't want to watch the next five hours of uh, misery and mayhem, I fully agree with you. I'm just the one who's stuck doing it. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, try to make it quick. I don't mind taking losses, I just do not like uh, have my uh, battalion being murdered. I feel so dirty having to like play this very carefully. It actually bothers me a lot. So one of the most prime examples, I I'm going to be doing a lot of talking today because there's not going to be much gameplay. <laughs> uh, one of the prime examples was during the early base assaults. You know, we got attacked. I was like, ah shit, ha, I can fend them off and I got my ass kicked and I lost the entire base and I had to reload. It feels like that kind of just breaks the continuity. Yeah, it's not a good way of explaining, explaining it. I feel like... You're supposed to take losses over time, you know, you lose equipment, you lose people, you lose bases, aircraft, and you're gonna have to replenish them. <sighs> and basically I'm dodging that bullet by saying like, oh no. Okay, well that anyways is uh, something that's been nagging me quite a bit. Every single time I have to reload I feel like I'm basically cheating. It makes me lose interest in the game. <laughs> It's all fun in games until, you know, you get your ass kicked. Anyways, let's slap in some more mines. Let's uh, make sure we equip our people with tech plates and the likes. I think I might actually go for a secondary uh, smart uh, assault rifle setup. My bad. Oh. Oh, Rising Griffin. Oh, that's not, uh, that's not great. Yikes. I changed my mind. Anyways, uh, you know, just, just a thought, just a thought. So, if you're bothered by that, I am incredibly sorry. Uh, I, I, I sincerely mean it. It's, uh, it's not how I want this to play out, but it is what it is. Get what I get. Doesn't that also teach you persistence? Yes. Um, what game was it again? There's a game that I played. And I think the first setback that I got, I basically said, okay, that's it, we're done. You know, they kicked my ass, I've lost, I just restarted. And I felt so wrong, so dirty. And afterwards I said, like, okay, I might have overreacted, I might need to give this another shot, and I think we kept playing. I think it might have also been the XCOM files. I can uh, quite quickly lose my temper, that's for sure. But yeah, persistence is definitely a skill that I uh, quite severely lack. And sometimes you just have to accept, you know, not everything can go perfect. You don't have to do everything perfect. I always you show some humility, right? <laughs> As I'm dabbing on enemies, yeah. Alright, we also still have the Doggo Brigade. Robbed Cal, Godspeed. Satchel Charge, hell no. But yeah, that's one thing that I lack. I'll admit. Persistence. <laughs> um, who actually has... Hmm... Somebody should be using the blunderbuss, and I think it's gonna be Nitro. Custom blunderbuss, this thing kicks ass. This thing uh, just rips and tears, I tell you. Rips and tears. Yeah, I still kind of secretly am hoping that one day I can play this game and just do a realistic Iron Man mode uh, playthrough, where I basically commit to everything I do. But I know there's going to be cases where I basically will lose an aircraft or the entire loadout of my craft. And I'll be like, well, fuck this shit, I'm done. That's why I always like to say I, I play bronze man mode. <laughs> like half, 50-50. And even then, uh, that is pretty watered down. Uh, okay. I think this roughly about sums it up. Yeah, so today is not going to be a fun day because we're going to be uh, slowly grinding through this as well. Um, I'm going to try to make it quick. I'm going to try to make it uh, 
Not as tedious as usual, but I'm not expecting much. Hey, I'm missing a shotgun. Huh. Uh, ooh, nope, nope, we're 100% A-OK. -okay. But yeah, that are the little things I'd like to get off my chest. It bothers me quite a bit. Oh boy. Alright, Scared Murphy. No need to be uh, Scarred Murphy, my bad. Used to be scared, but then I scarred her. Scarred her for life. Uh, Blunderbuss might be nice, but I don't think that's the right weapon. Incendiary might be nice, I don't think that's the right weapon. Also, Robbed Cow over here should be using the, uh, the UEC rocket launcher. I mean, if you're gonna do damage, you might as well uh, do it properly. Good enough for me. Uh, which brings me to uh, Scarred Murphy, right. Her aim is not too great, I kinda would've loved to give her a uh, shotgun, so let's see. Yeah, we don't really have a shotgun available anymore. Oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I, I gotta make sure that I don't sacrifice the time units of my doggos whenever it's unnecessary. Just gotta double mine them, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure one mine will blow up the other one, but that's fine. Alright, without much further ado, I'd love to dive into this mission. I think uh, that roughly about sums it up for me. Uh, we just have one person, uh, Scarred Murphy. I keep saying it, I keep mispronouncing it. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Her morale is quite hurt, and her freshness is quite hurt. Hmm. Uh, spray and pray until it's done, right? Sure. Okay, so is there anybody who has any unused page, uh, space that can be padded out? Yes. That's another yes. Yeah, I want to try to utilize a few more landmines if possible. You know, Necro Strip is actually not the happiest one around. Hmm. That is worrisome. Then we have Magenta Bunny. Oh my, Magenta Bunny has lots of available space. Let's go. Get rid of the vodka. Uh, one thing that's worth pointing out, I am running quite low on... Um, healing items. Okay. What can I do with you, Rising Griffin? What can I do? And it's really difficult because she can't really have any additional ammo on her. And it's really unfortunate. Okay, I think that it's gonna be her setup in that case. Um. The sad part is, once this entire fight ends, um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to learn anything new from it. I'm just going to make the same mistakes. Some pirate fact pirates did wear eye patches, but not because they were missing eyes. In order to help their eyes adjust more quickly between the bright ship deck and the dark below, uh, below decks. Pirates will patch one eye so it was always adjusted for the darkness. Now that is a fun pirate fact. And thank you for that, Sindrian. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blast with your... Um, X parts playthrough more than I am at least uh, I hope so. Okay, uh, I feel like Bloody Dwarf can do so much more. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yes, Bloody Dwarf can do so much more. This is one of the very few types I actually found to use for the uh, Reticulum Plasma Guns. Okay. Let's um, do this. Ah, god damn it. This crap. Not this crap again. Okay. There we are. Alright. Welcome. So, um... But like last time. We now have two cars. Actual people in it. And do a little bit of the old vroom vroom. Togo's gonna remain here. Alright, I am gonna have to think this through. So, them being stuck here is a death sentence, but this time around we do have a car who can support. Now, the downside is... Yeah, there's a lot of uh, downsides here. I like the fact that um, both my arena launchers are uh, just chilling. Just chilling over here. And that, people, is uh, how you massively fail. I needed a front armor and I just lost all of it. I'm playing a very stupid and dangerous game, I'll admit. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so my RPG. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be lasting very long, to be fair. I don't think we're gonna be ve uh, lasting very long. Yeah, that armor is uh, stripped away. I think that was a mistake. I think, uh... Asaku is stripped away altogether. Oh. You know how tempted it is to step forward and just blast her in the back? It's incredibly tempting. Seriously? Ah. Well, I found an assassin. Um. Go, 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 go. I've done a good. <laughs> I found the first assassin. Fuck. Ah, uh, that was awful. That was really awful. I guess to an extent that's actually pretty decent. Yeah, let's be patient. Let's not play this too aggressively because there is a certain amount of aggression happening here, which I'm not very happy about. Let's uh, play it nice and safe, nice and slow, and... Um, I can get angry at myself later for killing all these innocent people. Ah, uh, they're like Neko. I was kind of hoping that maybe some of my melee gals would have been on the front lines. Uh, that would have been a huge boon and help. And wait for an explosives to wipe out my entire base.
actually, um, I probably should have one of these two melee uh, gals all the way upstairs. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Then I can pluck this hole up here. Which will give me entire... Uh, this will give me a lot of safety. So that's what we're going to be doing. Most of these other people are going to be heading down. Before you know it... Um, should have a safety protocol. In the meantime, Toko is going to do what Toko does best. Togo will be guarding the elevator. Alright, anyways, I actually do really appreciate the idea. Be a good boy. Yes, be a good boy and die. For the greater good. Which has been. Um, but yeah, I think this plan is gonna probably backfire incredibly poorly, but that's alright. A good plan is meant to backfire. It means your enemies uh, are afraid of it and they're trying to counter it. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay, that is uh, Rising Griffin. Area down here is empty. Nobody's down here for once, which is quite great. We have to go up. Okay, so uh, my prediction. Good plan's a fancy way of saying we are improvising this. <laughs> now, Saku is most likely going to die. I think Mopped Fox Bat is also going to die, which is going to be incredibly painful. Comet Jacket, also going to die. Um, I'm going to suspect Arctic Treasure is going to die as well. And I'm pretty sure Nitro is going to get hammered. Dashing Yasuel might uh, run into fierce opposition. Uh, what else do we have? Bloody Dwarf. I wonder if that's actually her who shot. Okay. Then we have the cannon. Alright, well, um, let's die. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like 50 enemies right here. I have a really bad feeling about this, I'm not gonna lie. I really do have a really bad feeling about this. I should have played it way more aggressive. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to think of ways I could have done that differently. I think we should have just been incredibly passive, but even then, like... Like, my best guess would be in this case that these two will always die. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't know, I'm actually really pissed off uh, about the fact that you're put in a situation where you always have to die. I was a big fan of that. I hate it. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Alright, okay. I'm so unhappy right now. <sighs> Can 
can we just can we just quit? Can we just call the quit? Just completely forget this game even exists and just play something else. I I I can't. I can't. I just literally mentally can't. So if I, if I understand correctly what's happening here, right? You know what? I so I'm so done. I'm so done. It hurts. That's that's the worst part of all. It just just flat out hurts. That's like the worst part of all. That's the worst part of all. Then I get attacked from all sides. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, there's somebody right next to me. Yeah, it would have been nice to know that. Um. Like, ah, uh, fuck. Okay, right, it's fine, it's fine, we'll figure something out. It's not fine. It's unfine. <sighs> it's un -ok. Yeah, I think we need to redo this. Uh, God dang it. That's a screw. That's a screw. Yeah, I know exactly what went wrong as well. Uh, I've already identified a few several issues where I uh, screwed up royally, which is costing me. That's cool. That's cool. Well, at least RPG is paying off. Yeah, I've already figured out uh, several issues, several mistakes that I made, which I'm quite embarrassed about. I think the main issue, though, is that basically my entire barracks can't even mobilize because everybody's kind of stuck there. And then you have this awkward corridor. I don't particularly enjoy the flag tower. I do appreciate that it actually provides me with a lockdown point, but it breaks the line of sight so severely. It's uh, it's actually counterintuitive at the moment. Shouldn't have melee there. I should have tried to uh, shoot her instead. But yeah, so you're stuck in this really awkward spot. I've had this before. This is actually just not that useful. Um, and I basically, instead of them getting choked, um, I get choked. That is the sad fact. And I'm probably going to get set, uh, sexual charge there, so... But yeah, that's like the main issue. Nobody's down here, which I think is really dumb. Like, why is nobody spawning down here right now? Um, there's nothing I can do against that. Yeah, just send out a freaking RPG, I suppose. Oh, hi, assassin. Yeah, don't mind me. There we go. Now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Actually using them as suicide bombers as well. 
But yeah, so uh, getting choked here 24-7, that actually is like the major issue here. Notice how tightly I need to stack my people to make sure they don't get caught off guard. Yeah. Acceptable. Not acceptable. Not acceptable either. Not acceptable. Oh, I see. Did she just... What, what just happened there? Yeah, so the door actually got blown out here. Um, Haha, how funny. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if the door's blown out, we need to get the hell out of uh, the hell out of the door chair. An actual tactic considered by the Red Arm during World War II didn't work. The dogs were trained to run under tanks with a bomb strapped to their back. Problem is, the dogs didn't understand the difference between Soviet and Nazi tanks. Oh no. Logo once again has betrayed their owners. Who could have guessed? Uh oh. Well, at least uh, part of the Scorch Earth tactic uh, seems to work. Surprising me enough. Yeah, look at that. Dashing Yesabel just got uh, hammered. Not enough time units. Damn. Can't even kill one simple medic, can you believe it? What? You survived that? Alright, well I see where this is heading. Um, the answer is down to shitter by the way. One person at least in the sewage, one upstairs. Oh, at least with heavy weaponry you get a bit further, right? But even then you're quite limited by uh, your range. I'm, I'm really frustrated about losing people down here, I really am. At least they weren't down here, but still. And I also lost Asuka. I, I didn't think I have to lose Asuka, I think there was another way of dealing with that. Did somebody just... No, the cannon shoulder. Right. Dear lord. Uh, anyways. Uh, you know, just, just think about the little things. Did somebody say a group of enemies are tightly stacked together? Wow. I actually never would have imagined this would have worked as well as it actually does. <laughs> oh no, Magenta Bunny! Oh, that fun came to a quick end. That is one hit, by the way. That did like 80 damage, so... 
Yippee aye. Gee. Well, Scorch Earth tactics, right? Yeah, there's so many different ways I could have gone about this. There's no med kits left, there's nothing left. Nothing at all. Uh. Also, I'm pretty sure that like a quarter of my all my equipment just got blown up as well. Uh that's okay. Here we go. Not enough time units. Ah shit. There we go. I think there is definitely merit to this strategy. Um, just not the easiest to execute. And besides, this this here is a problem. I will probably need a different building here. I, I like the flag tower, I like how it provides uh, residence space for my units, but they're just stuck. Not much useful they can actually do. Man, these RPGs in the hangar bay, they were worth it. Even though it's gonna get them killed eventually. When I say eventually, I mean ASAP, as soon as uh, probably possible. Alright. Ah, impressive Resta Girl. Quite impressive. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can do a little bit of a uh, recap. Push a bit forward and all that. Oh yeah, it's also worth pointing out they can come up from uh, all the way up from over there. Um, let's address that as well, ASAP. But yeah, I think the main issue remains that uh, this is just no corridor, very uh, narrow angles. It's hard to get much done. Who's being attacked? Uh. 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 Um. My base. My base! <laughs> My poor, poor base. Ah, oh, come on! I hate this stupid real driver thing. Can't hit anything. Stupid thing. Get out of here. You call yourself a gun? Ah, oh, thank god. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's not much left at the moment, is there? Not much left. Oh, neither of you two. Well, actually, Magenta Bunny, how about you heal yourself up here? Oh, look, it's a whole new wave of enemies. Gasp. Whatever will I do? <laughs> I'm sorry, but Rob's Cow is raking in all the kills. I can't believe that. That's mental. 
Why, why did I think I needed a car? I just need someone with a UAC rocket launcher and just to go berserk. That's all that's necessary to win this fight. Well. Hmm. Well, hello. Oh. Well, hello. Trying to be sneaky now, are we? Remember when I told you to use explosives? No, I can't. This is all. <laughs> it's all what I came up with, right? Dear Lord. I think it works incredibly well in the hangar because there's such a large area, but we've also gotten lucky with them low rolling their uh, cutting damage. Also worth pointing out. So I know of one medic at least. I kind of want to try to wrestle control of this area. Move a bit forward so we don't get bogged down. This is a uh, worrisome development. Um, we're gonna have to wait for Necrostrip to drop uh, a bomb. Ah, uh, fuck me. Warning, more enemies incoming. Uh. Well, since I now know this. Got some people over there. Okay, so great news. Um, I think we tried to hit somebody. She climbed up. She stepped into like five billion grenades and she died. Uh, we have an assassin here though. Oh, assassin eliminated. Yep, that's it. That's 100% it. That was fun. Unbelievable. Ah, this is probably turn 6, isn't it? This is turn 6, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck me. I need to use. I need to stop using explosive doggos. Let's be fair. I think. I think that's the lesson that I learned right now. Stop using explosive doggos. They're not good for my personal health. Do a little spin. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 oh, 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 I know exactly what that is That is bye bye Uh Yeah That is bye bye Oh yeah right her I must say, these smart guns are pretty cool. Uh, she probably... Dashing Jezebel probably needs uh, some energy boosters, which I do have, by the way. I definitely do have them. Beer. Beer here, hello. But getting them to their uh, proper destination is gonna be tough. Especially if I still have to kill her.
Yeah, it's a pretty good shot. No, you can't do this to me! Oh no, dashing Isabel. Why? It's actually very important to remember that guard blood doggo. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't think uh, dashing Isabel is gonna survive this. Gulp. Hey. <laughs> Let's try something else for science here. <laughs> So, what happens if you vertically move one step up? The bomb does not detonate. Hey, look at that, I've learned something. Gasp. Yeah, I think the funny part is, I think that an assassin which just died, which means kaboom, this entire hangar is just as wrecked as that hangar. I think killing or... Using explosives and hitting uh, assassins is really the best way to eliminate uh, any opposition you might encounter. Uh... I'm not even gonna lie, that, that is like... Perfect. They think uh, they're about to dab you and then... Um, their assassin blows up right on top of them. Dog signs at its best, yes. Uh, we'll make the Russian dog proud, or whatever the hell his name was. The one day he shot into space. I, I keep wanting to say Strelok, but I'm pretty sure the dog's name is not Strelok. <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm very much aware of her. Let's kill her. Damn. Oi. Now, I do believe I saw shots originating from this general area as well. Um... Hey, cool. Okay, gotcha. Message received, loud and clear. I'm sending a water, right? <laughs> no! Oh no, 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 Magenta Bunny, you run away. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that is so cruel. That is so incredibly cruel. Oh, we're about to stop and drop. Not the rolling part. All the places I could have picked, I picked the one with the ninja warrior. Of course I did. God damn it. The worst part of all is I'm actually losing some very, uh, pretty decent veteran people. I'm really disappointed how all those shots just... <sighs> Didn't pull through in the end. So we have another medic. Um, 
he went up, we know there's an assassin down here. But, uh, the thing that I'm mostly afraid of, and that's why Dogo is going to stand right on top of everything, is that she is just gonna walk all the way up, ignore me, walk past me and kill me. Uh, she might also be planning to go to where Derelict Neko is. Wanna get on top of that ASAP? Um... So, yeah, um, Magenta Bunny, you're gonna die. Robert Cow, you're probably also going to die. I was secretly hoping that would knock her unconscious so they would stop firing at her. Work. Didn't work sadly. So yeah, whatever's gonna happen next, it's gonna be bloody yet again. These these are the type of base defense where I feel like we have to sacrifice a lot of veteran people to prevent the enemy from um, taking a base. It just doesn't sound right at all. I mean, if you need to apply scorch earth tactics, it just feels like you're doing something wrong already. You can shoot your friends, don't worry about it. Yeah, of course you will straight up kill her. So many people die. It's insane. Notice how she is still on fire as well. Um... Also, Robtka lost all her freshness because of that. I'm not happy. I'm definitely not happy. Wow, okay, she's right in my face. Um Oh, those styles are unwalkable. Um Uh okay. Oh, this uh, presents a nasty crisis, doesn't it? I don't know what the gun does, but it does definitely shred. No matter what I try, I don't seem to be able to make a dent in her. And I can't use the car anymore because, you know. So something tells me that uh, that nudist is uh, actually dead this time. Unless, of course, I will commit some friendly fire. Um. Yeah, this Scorch Earth tactic that I'm applying is not working. Oh, not enough time units. Well, that's embarrassing. Yeah, the Scorch Earth tactic I'm applying is uh, definitely not working. Well, time for her to uh, commit mass seppuku over here. Rip. Also, that ninja is still down there, which is kind of cute. Uh, ninja also only has uh, a melee weapon, also kind of cute.
So there is one thing uh, to take a little bit of. There we go, she's dead. Uh, get one little bit of relief from. Um, I'm fairly convinced the enemy is running out of units quite rapidly. Um, they have a few left, I'm sure of it. Uh, they probably have one or two people down here in the sewer. They have one more medic walking about. Uh, they have this medic and, well, that's, that's much <coughs> as I can until. But we are in serious trouble. Yeah, let's just remain hidden. Well, not even surprised that she went for a uh, friendly fire. Uh, that Nudus is actually dead now. And those medics are insane. There we go. Even insane medics will eventually die. It's just the Scorch Earth tactics at the moment is just killing me mentally. And physically. Yeah, we've lost some really good per uh, people today. I'm not happy about that. Not in the slightest. else really left to add to this I don't think so we gotta find the last few people on the map good luck with that yeah, at least this, this mission is quick right this mission is quick all right I have two doggos left um I'd say a bit unfortunate, but in reality it's really unfortunate. And I think they're all in the sewage. They're all hiding in the sewage. Yeah, having better armor would also uh, increase my people's survivability. Hello? What the hell just shot me? Somebody just shot me. Hey, we're still here. We're still fighting. And I'm a bit worried about Rising Griffin at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I'm really gonna regret this. I'm actually very glad I remembered that there were like Nekos hanging about. Otherwise it could have been uh, very bloody. That's one. That's two. That's three. So three enemies and it looked like it was coming from this area. So let's uh, keep moving forward. Oh, it's coming from the area up ahead. Gotcha. Oh, we're out of uh, ammo. Shoot. Oh, I, I did the snapshot. Oops. Alright, can we stop trying to destroy equipment and actually focus on the matter at hand? Okay, oh, we'll keep pushing. 
Um, I just realized there is a medic that I never managed to find. Is is there? Um, I need a doggo. I need a doggo ASAP. Where is he? Where is he? Right here. And just like that, we did find a medic. Um, okay. You remain hidden. So it's very possible this medic is actually planning to go up, or this pe person is planning to go up. I don't know for certain if it's a medic or not. Ah, oh, grenade, really? Coward way. Alright, I also saw somebody walk down there in the sewers. I'm not entirely certain where. Right there, okay. And there were two, uh, two more. Let's start with Rasta Girl. Wow, okay. Well done on the tap tap. Alright, Ninja Girl, gotcha. Not enough time units. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, see, if you have better weapons and better equipment, you can actually way more aggressively push through the enemy. Which is quite insane. Um, might be going up this area, which again has been mined as well, so... Hey, hey, hey. Dashing Yezebel will be on standby. Now all we gotta do is just sweep the remaining area, right? Where's the uh, blood to go? Right here. Come on, bud. Hey, like for once we're actually fighting back, we're not hiding like cowards waiting for the enemy to show up. Let's show up. She must really hate me. Aye, aye, aye. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. I do not know where that medic is. That is that's the only thing that uh, slightly concerns me. It looks like she's planning to go up the staircase here. Looks like she's planning to go up the staircase. Yeah, that might be one of the last few units about. That is not the medic. That is most definitely not the medic. Um, ironically speaking, there's still two people without uh, experience. Uh, so yeah, that's not <laughs> the medic. Um, that raises a lot of questions at the moment that I have. That's not the medic, where's the real medic? What did you do to the medic? Um... I don't have enough doggos to do a full scout of the base.
No, it's very possible I need to send people into the sewer, but the medic is not somebody I want to fight in the sewer. I want to fight him in a uh, decent, sustainable area. Uh, good luck with that, though. And Doggo is going to lose his shit. Two enemies left. This is really great. Two enemies left and one of them is right over here. And then there was one. <sighs> and opt fox bed, comet jacket. I can't believe those uh, girls are gone. They deserve better. Asuka. Let's not forget about Asuka. I think the one of the very few original. Um, no, she uh, she replaced another person, another another Lochner that sounded a lot similar, like Asuka, but wasn't Asuka. Asuka. Asaka? I can't remember. Well, everything comes at a price, right? Everything comes at a price. What the hell happened here? Yep, all right, I found the medic. <sighs> Since we found the medic, let's uh, start heading back. It's gonna take a while for the car to arrive, that's the only part that I'm highly concerned about. Well, I said take a while, but it's like literally one turn. The medic's probably gonna charge the tank, let's be fair. Um, yeah. Also, fun fact, apparently medics don't bleed at all. Maybe they do, actually they do. Um, we just suck at making them bleed. So much armor and life gone. Yeah, once this fight is over, we're gonna have to uh, check a lot of things out here. Um... Okay, Rising Griffin. It's okay. That was not it. Wait, what? No, 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 please, no. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about Derelict Neko. She definitely could have helped out there. Come on. There can't be more. Just finish it. Just, just end my misery. I beg of you. I beg of you. Yeah, okay, so there's one. One ninja gal, probably in the sewer, just uh, freaking out right now. Okay, well, let's start with Doggo over here. Empty. Bloodhound, empty. Ah, uh, on the friends. Really though, like having an army of cars would also make a, a bit of a difference. I'm sure of it. 
Well, the hunt is on, I suppose. Hunt is gone. You lack discipline, yeah, I was afraid of that. Alright, so what happened to all your crafts now that the hangers are wrecked? Uh, we, we stored the crafts in a very uh, safe and delicate position, and since we uh, just put a little bit of polish on the hangers, our crafts are gonna be fine. We will be able to instantly uh, station them inside the hangar base themselves. Unlike Arctic Treasure, who's no fire. Our crafts are perfectly fine. Yeah. And that is where Pencil and Head dies. Change how you use me. This is the last one, by the way. Huh. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. If only I had a melee person nearby to help me out right now. Ah, <laughs> shit. Where did I uh, charge with my melee gun? There she is, okay. Calm down, guys. We're almost done here. Peace. See? Done. Done. Oh my god, there's more? Oh, come on. Uh, why, why can't they all just have a boom and instead of looking at HP, they look at panic and the second one of those ninja girls start to panic, they blow themselves up. That'd be perfect. What are those stats on those gun swords? Um, I don't think they have gun sh uh, swords. Basically, they are CD guns, which do cunning damage. Well, I guess you can call them. Um, I guess you can call them gun swords, yeah. But the ranged weapons, and I don't know exactly. We know about CD pistol, but not about CD gun, which is quite unfortunate. They do cutting damage. Okay, so all of a sudden, all of them decide to magically show up. That's cute. It's very cute. Well, at least I know where the hell they are, so. Help out a bit. I hope you're fine there, Arctic Treasure. Also, it sounds to me they actually picked up my slaughterhouse cannon. Okay. Oh, that's a nice screw you to me, I suppose. I really do not appreciate this fucking bullshit that's happening down here. I'm, I'm not sure if I've uh, mentioned this before, but come on. This is just so fucking dumb. So the problem is... Um, the sewers are just a piece of fucking junk to fight in. I need to get out of here. And they force you to fight in because they're hiding down here. Come on, just fucking kill her. Oh, I'm getting so angry because I'm about to lose gals because this game is so stupidly fucking mad. <laughs> I'm actually getting angry. Um, that's cute. There we go. 
Nope. Nope. There we milt go. So yeah, I'm losing two people because the sewage is just a piece of shit place and I'm forced to go there. So, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Just getting angry now. Oh, how unfortunate. God, it's not gonna do that nonsense. That's... Okay, so there's like several stages about base defense that I hate. The sewer is one of them. If you have enemies that are primarily melee based, and I was very afraid you actually, for example, would have the... Um, uh, what's her face? I was actually very afraid you would have the... Uh, the medic. Medic is a prime example of that. I was actually very afraid the medic would be um, inside the sewer. So you have a melee based uh, enemy, and you're stuck in the sewer. I can guarantee you, black and white, that that enemy is going to murder you, because they have the advantage. I just hate that. And they can't break, they won't surrender, so we have to go into the sewage in their territory and just get annihilated. That is the most logical thing that can happen there, which I just personally disagree with. And that makes me angry. That just makes me angry. Like, not only are you having to hunt them down, um, they, get, they more easily get to jump on you. The seven stages of grief, yeah. Now, if they're in the sewer and they take stun damage for being in Hilarium Sludge, it's a whole different story. I'd be perfectly fine with that. No, instead, I'm the one who has to suffer. It's like, come on. Uh, I don't want to do this. Anyways, that is my 5 minute rant, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's my pep talk for the year. Um, now look at this, I can barely move at all. Uh, but it just leaves me quite frustrated. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, and I will mention it again. Just fighting in the sewer is really, uh... It's just a frustrating experience. It remains a frustrating experience. I guess it's uh, partially designed that way. I, I don't know why, but... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh. Please, I just want to go home. Can I please just go home? I just... My fault, my fault, shouldn't have engaged. I'm... No. I just don't want to deal with this. I just don't want to deal with this. Oh my god. What a lot of crap. It's one thing that your gals already spawn in the middle of nowhere and they get easily picked off. It's just... No, 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 I refuse. I 100% refuse, I just... Let's just finish this, let's just finish this. I'm gonna call the night, yeah, I'm about to call the night as well and... Smash my keyboard through my freaking, uh... Everything. There, there is nothing to be left to get here. Anyways, thanks for stopping by there, Chocolate, have a good one. Thanks for watching, and take care. Please, take better care than this game is taking care of me.
Give me a good pal. And save a friend from this painful embarrassment. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm actually getting really fed up. It's just sewage fights are, are part, in my opinion, it's just something that does not belong in these type of base defenses. <sighs> they feel very, um, very toxic. I guess pun intended, right, to an extent. Oh, come on. Ah! God, I can't do this. I really can't. Yeah, I see. I see where this is where this is going. Okay. Um. Always no, nice to know where you stand at uh, with this game. But yeah, so the sewer is incredibly slow, it slows you down, um, there's way too many angles, and especially when you're fighting an enemy that has like 5 billion more evasion than you do, it's, you're, you're just gonna get punished. This is, this is basically what it is, I'm getting punished. Um, because I'm having to fight an enemy that's just superior in the sewer. And they get to stay there indefinitely. Like, it's not like they're slowly gonna die, or they'll, they'll surrender if they're not fighting. No, they can stay there indefinitely. I think that is my main concern. Being able to stay there indefinitely. Screw you. And then we're still not done, that's the worst part of all. I can't do this. I really can't. Like, just think about it. I've I've completely demolished both my hangars. I've cleared out the other ones, but because they're running around in the sewage, and there is sewer connections as well, um, in areas where you haven't built, but because they're running around down there and they can't break, um, I need to send troops down to get slaughtered. It's so weird to say it, but that's that's the reality, that's the truth. Now I could build uh, corridors which have fences to block it off. Thank yeah, see, there's two more. Like... <sighs> two more just chilling about. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Right. You, you can block stuff up with fences, but... You know, I'm not gonna build my entire base with security corridors just so I can fence off the uh, sewage. Thank you. Wait, did somebody surrender? Wow, they can actually surrender. That's new. Uh, so yeah, we lost six hands, four auxiliaries, and one bystander. <sighs> this is not a win. Not even close. It's just painful. <laughs> this is actually really painful. Uh, because of the, the hands that we actually lost an ABC gun. Ah. <sighs> Damn. Anyways, now that this fucking nightmare is over, we can actually play the game again. Yay! Everybody loves playing the game. I sure as hell do. We'll keep uh, Salt of Blunderbuss. But like, the really sad part of all is... <laughs> I, I, I would have to equip everybody with plate armor and tech armor just to survive. No, is there? We lost. We lost. We might have won the battle, but we lost the war. That's how it feels, at least. Um, we'll keep those grenades here. We'll keep the satchel charges here. We'll send over the MP grenades. Yeah, I got my ass kicked pretty, pretty hard, though. Send over the car part and the ninja gals. Whew. But now we can move on to the real game. That's, I guess, one advantage. You are fighting high tier ninjas, that's true. That's very true.
But like the part that hurts me the most is uh What did we lose? I am buying spoke grenades. Rob Cow has become a boss cow and Rest Girl has become a whatever you want to call it. So yeah, this is the part that pisses me off. We lost the Saku. Um bad positioning, magenta bunny. That was unfortunate. Uh Comet Jacket, that was bullshit. And Mobbed Fox, also bullshit. Just losing these two people, that's just uh, a big uh, F you towards me. <sighs> and that's rough. That's really rough. Okay, it's time for us to um, pick up at least a Loknar. Get that Loknar back. I'm pretty sure training is just messed up beyond recognition at the moment. But yeah, we survived both base assaults and uh, I swear to god I will move heaven, hell and earth. Burn those bastards uh, apart. Hey, training is actually A-OK. -okay. For now let's uh, ship most of these people back. No free accommodations? Alright. I guess so. How about we keep... No. No, 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 no. Actually, how about we keep these people here? And instead we'll send these people over. Okay, uh, Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka. Uh, once we're done producing all of this crap, we're gonna be making like 500 um, tech armors. I say tech armors, but really, we should be making plate mill. Or a combination of both. Plate mill is quite uh, tricky to make though. <laughs> Thanks, game. I'm going to be missing out on so many items. So, if I want to make plate mill. Right. We need 40 plus steel, 90 rare earth elements, 30 durafrat mesh, uh, 10 metal armor and 10 chain mill. So let's start with the chain mills and make 10 of those. Which requires 45 more superconductive wires, right? Then Durafret armor coming right up. Okay, I'm quickly gonna write this down. So, starting with uh, the first uh, setup, uh, we're gonna make plus 10. Plate mill armor and tech armor. Man, that is gonna be expensive, but at least we'll uh, be able to defend ourselves. Okay, then we'll take care of that. But then the other question is superconductive wires, right? Yep. No, oh, I needed 45 of these. Acceptable. Perfect. We have so many CD stuff now though, that's actually pretty insane. Operation Broken Wagon. Alright, let's start looking towards our craft. Well, once everybody's back home. Hello book, the Liberator, God of Liberty and Vengeance, one of the eight celestial spirits of the Nardoc Pantheon. He is sometimes called the Blue Dragon. He urges everyone to stand up and take their freedom. Whenever they're oppressed, thus he has often uh, foments conflicts as he inspires cooperation. Thus he has often foments... What the fuck does that mean? Conflicts as he inspires cooperation. His vice is contempt. His vice is weird words. There you have it. I still need to uh, get Raider subcontracting. 
And I'm so mad. I'm so freaking mad. That's a real word. Yes, I know. These hardy folks toil endlessly and hopelessly in the mines, factories, power stations, and other industries in these countries that have any industry naturally. Upon their backs, the entire might of their local government and perhaps even the stellar empire is built, yet they get very little in return. Just rub a raider boss now. The Trolletariat, one of the major players in the Mutant Alliance. They believe that social class identity is more important than racial identity. They think that pure blood is often more of a social status thing than a biological fact. Therefore, all the poor worldwide should get together and forcibly seize property of the rich in the collectivist revolution. We are all mutants. Oh, we all are mutants is their slogan. Yes. Mutants of the world, unite. Un unionize right now. Get rid of those capitalist, capitalistic dogs. Um, the problem is I can't uh, simply rub rub a raider boss. If I rub rub a raider boss, um, the, he'll probably teach me about roving bandits imperial probes. Or the slave gladiatrix. No, for raider subcontracting, uh, we're going to be looking towards the raider fuck. Uh, once we're done with superconductive uh, circuits, we'll be moving on to grounding boots, then advanced personal armor, and uh, yeah, we'll get there. Uh... We're also gonna have to build a new car. Friendship conversion, North America. Um, mm -hmm. I think we might be able to take this down with the hunter killer. Ah, chains of plants. Major chains of plants. Um. Where's the shrine ship at? Ooh. <laughs> ah. I'm good, I'm good, we're good. Chains of plans, guys, chains of plans. Yeah. What the hell am I even gonna do right now? So Negro Fire, Arctic Treasure, Derelict Nako. Uh, okay, how about I Jody in Arena? Jody, Arena, Nova, and Lyra. Okay, let's ship those four to Rach Dacha. Jody, Arena, Nova, and Lyra. And they can actually train in Rach Dacha. So, now that that's been taken care of. Uh, aye aye. Now that that has been taken care of, I need to look towards um, the people in Brr Brr. So I think one of the problems is that um, black cannons are fun and all, but they did not have the desired effect. No, I'm tempted to make more of them. So basically we build two more flat cannons right over here. Hell, I can even create a 2x2 cluster right in the middle.
But then on the other hand, we also have a fire, <laughs> a fire pit. Anyone who casually strolls into the seemingly normal normal corridor will trigger fire bombs hidden in as well. Even if they don't roast the trespasser, will make them pause for a moment at least. It's another possibility. I kind of just want to go for the flak cannon. Yeah, sure. But then the other question is, where will I build it? Will I build it in the uh, over here, over here, over there? I was thinking about having them in combination with fire pits. But I'm pretty sure fire pit is a one-time type of room. Yeah, it's a good question. I'm not sure if I know the answer to it, but... A line of flag and it's all shooting each other to death. Ah, but that's where you're wrong is there. They're not going to be shooting at all because they'll just get stunlocked instantaneously by the Sky Ninjas. Filled all with fire pits. The problem, and this is why I didn't immediately jump on the idea of fire pits. I guess relatively cheap and we can see how it goes. But the reason why I didn't instantly jump on fire pits is because fire damage hasn't proven to be that useful. There you go. I've done it. Shut up. Don't talk about it. It's been done. <laughs> um, right, but... So, these hands who are severely uh, hurt, it's six of them. They need to be shipped, uh, shipped about. So, let's go to our hands over here. We need to ship two more people away. Uh, preferably back to Brr Brr, and I was thinking about sending over Arctic Treasure and um, I guess Negro Fire. Bye bye. And then which which hands where was it again? Let's see. Um, we have Nitro, Sour, Dashing, Dio, Robbed Cow, and Wicked Fate. Dashing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <sighs> I don't think we can do this, but uh, it might be worth a try. Yeah, so most of these people are actually hurt. Um, this actually shows the, the, the massive brain drain that has been caused by uh, the previous mission. We'll go in and we'll tr still try to kick ass, but um, no guarantee this is gonna work. Yeah, no guarantee this is gonna work. Uh, but yeah, we need to start making a massive amount uh, of additional armor, I think that's been long overdue. Yeah, I think that's been long overdue. We're gonna have fun. We're not gonna have fun, I'm lying. It's gonna be unfun. It's gonna be a slaughter of anything. Alright. So when it comes to equipment, we are missing a few important items. Um, I don't think I've sent back the custom blunderbuss, to say the least. Or the heavy grenade launcher. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, custom blunderbuss, off you go. Um, what about the drum? 
Off you go. Um, arena cannon. Send those back. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Grenade launcher. At least the heavy grenade launcher. We'll buy a new one uh, over here. Yeah, I think at least having better weapons over here uh, would make a massive difference as well. Oh yeah, you can't actually. I'd have to craft a heavy grenade launcher. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's go. They just flip shit. Alright, apparently we brought a cat with us, which I'm okay with. Um, the Voodoo Ellison. We need the Super Shooty as well. Linux Origami, Linux Origami. That's way too many Linux Origamis. Hmm. Uh, Custing Sniping Gun is something we're gonna be using. EMP Grenades, hopefully, I won't need, but I'm gonna take one set with me regardless. Oh. But yeah, uh, the last mission really just uh, kicked me pretty hard. Uh. Met kits, something else we're gonna be needing at the base. Yeah, it kicked me pretty damn hard. Okay, that is fine, that is fine. Busty Reese with her hand mortar is not fine. Let's remove that and let's change that with... Um, I want something that will say this is the amount of damage. I need to uh, really clear this out. Hey, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing the custom hand cannon. Uh, we need to send those back as well. Uh, before I'm gonna forget, and I am already forgetting, we have the custom hand cannon. And uh, Bruh Bruh needs uh, med kits as well. There we go. Yeah, uh, I'm severely going to be missing the custom hand cannons at the moment. We'll stick with the last pistol. I think I need to send two tech blades back as well. Yeah, I really messed up uh, a lot of my loadouts, but at least we still have that base, which is uh, the part I particularly care about. Uh, Custing sniping gun, that does sound pretty good. But yeah, I think everybody's pretty fatigued after that fight. I'm pretty fatigued. Didn't even do any active fighting, but the series is gonna be getting this, uh, this lovely thing back, I can't believe it. Lack of grenades is uh, notable. Let's have a few additional grenades. There we have it. Just in case there are chrysalids running about. It's the church, so it's a possibility. Ah, how much fun that may be. I don't think it's the right move. Nobody can use the good med kit. How awful. Alright, and then we have my Lognarsh. Uh, I was planning to make a second custom sniping gun, but I don't think uh, we've gotten around to it yet. Anywho, um, yeah, without much further ado, let's uh, die. Ooh, okay, um, right off the bat on the salt laser. I 
I feel confident enough to take that shot. Whether that's good or bad is uh, up to interpretation. Uh, interpretation. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, um... I am gonna try to reduce my footprint here for a moment. My light footprint. Alright, let's uh, convert these bastards. Flame through. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Not cool enough. So I guess they're converting people to the way of fire, huh? Where's Fudu Ellison? Oh, right here. Huh. Oh, I love the custom sniping gun. It is such a fun tool. Oh, uh, shit. Um, we don't know much about the fart pack, sadly. Um, all I know is that that thing uh, will probably wreck me. There you go, it's been wrecked. Sloan said he wins the race, as they say. Sloan said he wins the race. See, now we're having fun. This is a lot more fun than base defenses. This is a lot more fun than base defenses. You might be wondering, but am I actually having fun? The answer is yes, yes I am. <laughs> Right, shoot him. It's 
much as it takes. That's a far back. Hey Kitty, you're supposed to spot him. Yeah, there he is. Bastard. Right outside my line of sight as well. That was a risky shot to begin with, but... Oof. Speaking about risky shots... Probably should have started with this, shouldn't I? I just don't trust mortars ever. Yeah, see, that would have been like... Perfect if I had done it that way. Oh, I can even see the uh, person all the way in the back. I love how inaccurate that was. Um, yeah, I know how this is gonna end. Okay. Alright, well, it is what it is. You know, as they say, it is what it is. Oh boy, am I about to get demolished there? Oh, come on! Come on! Fucking hell! Why? Fuck this game, I swear. Oh. oh. Sure. Next time I panic, can I just snipe every enemy on the map? Thank you. Thank you. God, that's so dumb. That is so incredibly dumb. So spiteful. So spiteful. Well, we just lost the only cat we own, so thanks game, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really mad about that, because um, I've, I've said this before, I've noticed that when enemies go berserk, they will explicitly target your units, which doesn't make any sense because they're going berserk. You know, go and target your own units or some crap like that. My units do that all the time. Well, most of the time at least. Anyways, um, yeah, not happy. That's, that's the general gist, not happy. Mad, very mad. Fucking A. You did research it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've researched it. We know everything about Black Cat. We've known, we've known it for several months now. And if we don't, then obviously something is uh, very messed up. Fuck you. I, I can't. I have zero tolerance for this right now. I already came from a god awful nightmare base defense, and now this shit is happening. I'm just saying, I, I don't have the patience for this. I really don't. Imagine having to lose people because, you know, I was being a dick. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Just wanna go home. Just wanna go home.
fuck that. <sighs> well, let's keep pushing forward. Apparently everything in this uh, world is expendable nowadays. The problem is, it's... Uh, I'm just mad. I'm just mad because I lost the cat. I'm just mad because I lost the cat. It's causing me to play way more aggressive and sloppy than I need to. Because I'm angry. So damn angry. Oh. oh great, there's two entrances. Um, and I have nobody with melee capabilities, which is incredibly weird, but I'll take it. I thought I had one person which was specced around melee. Oh yeah, there she is. I sparkle. But yeah, I'm just really uh, pissed off. <laughs> it's it's the base defense that kicked uh, the life out of me. And afterwards it was just a downward spiral, let's be fair. A very downward spiral. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Nothing like uh, setting up some friendly fire. Lateral damage is a uh, statistic. Oh wait. I mean, it's just the cat, right? Gino is a bit more painful, but still, um, it's not the end of the world. Oh, it's this craft. Okay. I hate this craft. This craft is the worst. It's just, I can't get over it. It's just the damn thing panics and. Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it. Actually, I'm lying. I'm not over it. I'm still very mad. I hate this U of O. Now we're meleeing. Thank you. Look, took their sweet ass time. Oh well. Jump well done, everybody. Jump well done. Okay. That's one. Right here in the back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I know of six of them. Anyways, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Probably gonna make sure I have an extinguisher with me as well. <sighs> oh guys, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? One, two, three, four, five. Okay.
Oh, he set himself on fire, that's cute. Wait, this is a dead end? Ah, this is a dead end, what will we look at that? Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Just the total uh, downfall of everything I've been working on. So far so good. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, we can spot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 enemies. Um, starting with somebody being down here, either bottom floor or top floor. This one is top floor, let's go after him. Oh. Oh no. You know what that means, right? Fuck. Well, not that, but sure. One floor higher. Hmm. Yeah, just shoot the Larium reactor. It's fine. Okay, so the bottom floor has been cleared out. But yeah, um, <laughs> you know what that means, right? If there's a Beastmaster, there may very well be a Chrysalid. Uh. Can we like skip the entire Chrysalid part and just move on to me beating this mission without anybody dying? Please. Okay, so the remaining three enemies are all upstairs. Which is quite nice to know. And... Okay. That's upstairs, might be downstairs, definitely upstairs. Also upstairs, gotcha. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Um, we'll start our assault over here, clear from top side and do a sweep. Farm fumed rebel will uh, safeguard this entrance. And the rest will come naturally, hopefully. But yeah, chrysalid. Two. Okay, two left. Let's go. Downstairs? Must be the darkness, right? Chairs? Wait, what? Wait, what? I... Wow, okay, I completely missed that guy in that case. 
Oh, I see. I see now. I see the errors of my way. Let's uh, go home. Just a beast master. Just the beast master. Yeah, it's uh, it's incredibly unfortunate about um, the accelerate that we lost. Oh, and also the hand, but yeah. Nice reaction increase though from Slice Sparkle and Voodoo. Sell what we can, we keep what we can, and we move on. Hey, Vibroblade. And we cleared it out. I guess that counts for something. Uh, what do we ship to Willy Wonka? Let's see. Probably these items, right? Storage space exceeded. I'm not even surprised either. 44 gold bars. That's quite nice. I think I can sell this friendship documentation. Since we already know what the shrine ship is. Anything else I need to uh, ship around? I think I'm gonna ship some more stuff to brr brr from the items we just picked up. Um, Fiberblade. No Fiberblade we keep. The Gothic Ray Gun we can send over. Uh, the last pistol. That's better. Probably need to get rid of the Hand Flamer. Let's also send over some Willy Beats. Oh, we also have Plast Steel and... Hilarium. There we go. Ah, shit. Ah, just the Hilarium then. I am gonna need a storage base at this rate. <laughs> ah. I'm laughing, but it's no laughing matter. No more room in prison. Oh no. Oh no, terrible. Uh, let's get rid of the war maintenance in that case. Should be researching uh, these masters eventually. Ship them away. Sorry, ransom. Uh, there is no way to buy a black cat. That's the part that bothers me the most. Yay, I guess we're gonna be buying another bug eye. Woohoo. And training bug eyes is such a pain already. Uh, cat purring, voodoo school. Yeah, there's no way to really obtain black cats other from missions. Shit. Let's make 10 metal armors. I'm a bit sad, because um, it was an integral part of my plan. <laughs> Using black cats for spotting, and my spotting mechanism just died. So yeah, I shouldn't have brought uh, a black cat with me. That was stupid. I guess I got punished accordingly, right? Bring down the watchtower. Yeah, alrighty. Time to bring down the watchtower. Why do we have a peasant? Why do we have Artemis? And Florette. Need to ship those two away. I'll be taking way too many people with me.
Uh, sugar shrimp. Alright, let's get this done. Nice, quick and fast. Uh, let's ship to Orangefield the custom hand cannons. And let's buy some med kits. Um, what, what are they called anyways? Hold on. I thought it was a med kit. Oh. Ah, first aid kit. There you have it. Done. Yeah, yeah, black cat. Maybe we'll find one. Just for now, we need to come up with a different strategy for dealing with um, that place. Uh, Lorette, Shamrock, and Artemis Warden. Industrial tools. We are continuing tinkering, invention, and scavengery. We have secured a broad area of tools that will allow us to construct even more complex machinery than before. Piratey lingerie and the Death Blossom SMG. Hmm. Look at this girl. All right. Grounding boots. Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, um, heavy craft weapons. I'd love to research heavy craft weapons, I really would. Liquid cool. Armor piercing lasers. Oh. Huh. It'd be nice to have sin soldiers. Super effective cooling agent, just having it in your inventory increases your resistance to heat, but the intense cold drains two energy per turn. Drinking it is not <laughs> advised as it will cause nine health damage. It will, however, restore 300 energy and 10 freshness. It works only on oneself. Wow, 300 energy, that's insane. Electric net. Purple shields. The ABC gun. Um, as much fun as most of this is, um, I've queued up what I need to queue up. I know exactly what we're gonna go for. Um, first the heavy craft weapons. It's a throwing electric weapon for stuns, that's what I was thinking about as well. It sounded like it. Not sure how much better it is than the uh, whip. Anyways, when it comes to interrogations... Uh, ooh. Fancy guns, let's uh, get that done as well. I want to queue some people up for interrogations. <laughs> One of these days at least. Uh, once we're done with gun katana training and grounding boots, well, and advanced personal protection, um, we can definitely do more interrogations. Max range of 12, effective range of 6. So it has way more range. Incredible. I think the damage will be lower. Or higher time units.
Superconductive circuits. This technology is widely used in all advanced power storage and distribution. Learning its secret is crucial for progressing further in our understanding of the topic. 110 electric, 50 to 150. Hey, we can also research power station now. Cool. Electropulse munitions, levitator, superconductive cannonball, electric net, and shredder. Ooh, 0.5 armor efficiency. My oh my. That is some uh, serious research right there. And the clerk, 57. If you don't seem to be able to progress, check your manufacturing projects. Some things that are key researchers, uh, that are key researchers need to be manufactured first. Oh, researchers. Uh, before their prepare, uh, properties can be fully tested, yet others need to be bought. Yes. Savvy girl, didn't tell me anything. The crypto data test, the hilarium mini bomb. Uh, cool. Anyway, hideout number five should be next. Another shrine ship, uh oh. Really going all out on um They're really going all out on it, aren't they? EP munition is only for Niners, Black uh Man Stoppers, Black March SNG, RCF Carbine and the old carbine. Oh man, that's unfortunate. I mean the Black March SMG I guess. Man Stopper I guess as well, but still. Wasteland Priestess too. The Wasteland Priestess has returned and she's smiling at you sagely. Looks like she has new things to tell you. You and the Priestess embrace and kiss and you spend the rest of the day enjoying each other's company. You haven't felt so relaxed in a long while but eventually she gets to the point of her visit. You've made a bold decision rejecting the patronage of the Shadow Masters. Just like the Star Gods, they are aliens. The former can be my friends, the latter enemies. But you and me, we're creatures of this planet. Only its power can be truly ours. We cannot love the alien if we lose ourselves. The struggle will be harder when you have no adventures of the way, uh, if you have no adventures of the way being paced for you by the shadows. But it might be the only true way. When you're ready, ask me about it. It has a stun damage multiplier of two. Hmm. Stun immunity. Now that is significant. Man, that took us quite a while to get in that. Uh, RGF Carbine with EP rounds is apparently good. I'm actually really surprised to be fair. Because I assume that you just want to uh, duck a duck a duck as much as you can. So the Black March SMG, being an SMG and all, uh, would have done a better job. But I, I don't know anything about this, so... <laughs> there you go. Where's my uh, smart gun? Oh, hold on. Here we go. Uh. All right, starting with El Economo. Um. One fifty, one sixty-six. All of this too heavy, though. Actually. BMS. Oh, the Black Mass, uh, the Black March SMG. I'm assuming. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. That's another possibility. Right, time to come knocking. No! <laughs> oh god. Uh. 
<laughs> oh no, this is terrible. I fucked up. How did this happen? However, it does not have the long range aim shots. Ah, okay, yeah, that's probably why. Alright, so let's keep it simple. We go in, we whack them on their head, we go out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, no questions asked. Thank you, please come again. Oi. Ay ay ay. Man, this guy is uh, pissing me off already. Oi, friend, meet Gnome. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Gnome has been met. Well, I guess it makes sense if you are able to uh, do long range shots. That you can just simply snap somebody into a uh, submission. Alright, let's prepare to breach. I think we can simply punch it, open it, and then enter. Ah, it's not gonna cut it. Oh, I probably should have told her not to uh, fight back. Ah, oh, come on, don't be such a little prick about this. Somebody was really hellbent on being a little prick. Okay, cool. Sugar shrimp. Baggage. That's one. That's two. Does anybody have a med kit? Nah, nobody has a med kit. Okay. Three? And that's it. Um, yeah. Just uh, Hegel and Francesca are missing experience, but everybody else did, so I'm happy. We sell what we can, we transfer what we can, and we take home what we can. Oh no, prison room is full. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. I feel like I'm still pretty far behind at the moment on a lot of different researches. But I guess I always will be. Well, at least our research capacity is slow and go uh, slowly going up. Uh, we're going to be sending out the Dutchman. Another ship to clear, another fight to pick. Time to kill um, another advisor, right? <sighs> easy come, easy go, as they say. Easy come, easy go. Alright, Sigmoria is fine. Honorable uh, Necrona is fine. 
Diff. Diff will not be fine. Spoiler alert, Diff will not be fine. Um, Buddha was fine. Perfumed Rebel is fine. Laconic Yulia is fine. Dusty Reese. I want Dusty Reese to use uh, flame bo uh, Flamethrower. There you go. Hmm. Urban Warfare, you say? Urban Warfare. Gotcha. But yeah, expect a bunch of uh, meatbags flying around. Again, music from the Heroes and Might Magic series. Well, what can I say? We're gonna be heroes, we're gonna show Might, Magic and Cowardice. In that specific order. It's, it's good music though, it's nice and relaxing. I don't know, I was... Um, it's gonna sound so incredibly stupid now that I'm uh, thinking about how I'm planning to say it. But I was watching a YouTube video the other day and... Um, it was completely unrelated to uh, XCOM. Or X-Pirates altogether. And as a background music they had one of the soundtracks. <laughs> From this mod, I was like, oh god, now I really want to play uh, some XCOM X Pirates. Also, you can make EP ammo for the light cannon with another research. Now, that is amazing. 30x6 electric. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Alright, I'm actually highly concerned at the moment. Um, so, if there are actual... Um, oh shit. <laughs> oh, double shit. Uh, I was gonna say... If there are actual fart packs around, they'll have better line of sight on me than I have on them. Really? Alright, well screw you two game. Um But as you can see, uh not a problem yet. It might become a problem, but not yet. Gotta love how I keep seeing enemies on this outline. Uh, or uh, this, this edge. Gotta deal with her, uh, him somehow. Fuck me. Well, at least you're nice and close by. Thank you for the final tap, that did help out quite a bit. So let's assume that there's gonna be three fart packs, right? We've only killed one, which means that two of them are unaccounted for. That's assuming, of course, there is three of them. Doesn't necessarily need to be true.
Gulp. I think I might have just made a royal mistake. Oh, okay, yes, I made most definitely a royal mistake. She's dead. Uh, it's moments like these that I wish that I wasn't such an idiot. Playing this way too aggressive is the problem. I'm spreading out way too aggressively. I don't see how I can solve uh, salvage this. I have a few ideas, but that flamethrower needs to die. There's a very precarious angle I can attempt to go for, even that is uh, very limited. If somebody could open the door. I'd have a few more time units to spend, but nobody can open the door because everybody's spread out already. The problem is, I thought this was one person, then it turned out to be two people, and then it turned out to be three people. You know, it's escalating. I'll have to take the fire damage. The problem is, if she's gonna flame me, Wonder Bronda Crown is gonna die. If I charge Isdor in to melee her, Isdor is gonna die. Yeah, I did not account, I did not account for this. Yeah. Was worth a try. Probably should have just charged into melee range. Whatever. Okay, a series of events just led to uh, people's demise. There you go. God damn it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm s Yeah. So annoyed. So annoyed. My worst fear is confirmed as well. There is just a fucking little piece of shit hiding at the corner of the map. <sighs> There's a little, uh, bitch. God dang it. Okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I... Right. Whatever, we'll do this mission next time. I'm gonna go to bed. I've had enough. I can't. <laughs> it's too much. Have a good evening, everybody. Thanks for watching. Just need to flush my system. Not today.